Hey everybody, it's Uncle Fester. So, um, alright. So this is another Street Fighter V modding tutorial. This is actually going to take, or replace the first tutorial that I did for this game. Um, Halloween's right around the corner, so I'm going to make some Halloween mods for the game. So I figured I might as well take this time to redo the first video that I made where there was background music it was kinda difficult to hear me hopefully you guys can hear me better now um, I'm still using the same old headset with crappy microphone um, as soon as I can I'll get an actual mic there's a bunch of equipment I need to get from my computer to um, enhance what I can do with my channel um, and if the second that I can do it I will so what we got here I'm gonna start with just a refresher course I guess you wanna call it so these are the main apps that you'll need in order to mod this game. You're going to need ActorX Importer, Extract EXE, and UModel. You can get all three of those from the UModel website. So let's just extract this. Now this, I'm going to actually, this is ActorX Importer for 3DS Max. So we'll just go ahead and take care of this now. These are the two Max scripts that you're going to put into 3ds max's script folder so that is going to be autodesk 3ds max i got 2016 so in the 2016 version of 3ds max you're going to go down here to where it says scripts and simply go to startup and copy those two max files that's it that's all you need to do you're done here with prepping 3ds max for importing PSK files. So now we're gonna go back here. Alright, so this is Bison's folder, which I've already removed all of the unnecessary files, but to for continuity's sake and to make sure that everybody's on the same page. This is assuming your your modder and you've already extracted all of your pack files so that you can create your mods. So we're gonna go into content um, Cara, and then you would just simply copy this folder. You can go directly into it and copy only this one if you want, and then create the folder structure once you get, once you start working on the mods. We don't no longer need it. So you just copy that here. Now I've cleaned this up and removed all the unnecessary stuff. So what we want from this is the mesh. We're going to copy this and put it into the root where you model is at. Leaving everything else the same. Now, I've written a batch file. I wrote it a long time ago. It should be up in the modding forums. I'll go ahead and post this on the new forums that we have currently. Um, just in case it's not there. But basically, what is going to be used for exporting is this line. So you can do this through the command prompt if you want. Um, you you can I use uh, I think the first one is actually the be probably better. This would just do it as in uh, the default way, which you want to would extract this particular game, which would be everything in Targa format. This would be with DDS textures. And you, you, we do this one to get the the normal map, um, so you can correctly edit it. Um, U model will not extract the normal maps from Street Fighter Five in DDS format correctly, which is why you need to do it through Targa, which is why my batch file contains two <coughs> two instructions: one for the specifically for the normal map, and one for all the other textures in the in the game. Now. Once I double click this, it's going to automatically, any primary mesh file that I have here, it will read this mesh file and extract the folder structure within this mesh file into a new folder here, which is this. So this is the mesh. PSK is the actual skeleton mesh that we're going to be working with. This is the folder structure within that mesh file, 
which will have the skeletal mesh one with its materials and textures. This is important because we need to load this information into 3ds Max in the next step. So let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, don't worry about this. This is another app that I have for 3ds Max for modding um, Max Payne 3 and GTA 5. Okay, so this is the ActorX importer. We're not going to use the FBX batch exporter. So the first thing to do here is scroll down to where it says materials, path to materials. Make sure it says recurse is checked on. Uh, on missing textures, you don't have to worry about I mean, you could put ask if you want to. It doesn't make a difference because we're going to set this up correctly. So, click on this to browse, and you're going to browse to where we have our extracted folder. You're going to point to the materials folder. See how this is the extracted folder here? So I select the material folder because once it reads these materials, the materials will tell it where the textures are. Then we scroll back up here and click on import PSK. You don't worry about any other settings. Everything else you could just leave default. And here you're going to pick the PSK file that we just extracted. So again, uh, we're going to come over here. Just double click that. And now it's going to load them in there. Okay, and that's it. Now you're done importing your skeleton mesh file and you can go ahead and get to work on it do whatever you want um, I can close this now now really quickly I'm just going to select child nodes hide that I'm not going to spend too much time on this I've already done the edits that I wanted to do through in 3ds max for this character but just to show you guys a little bit so I'm going to select him. As you can see here, it's got um, in the modifier list, which is here in 3ds Max, you have your mesh and a skin. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and click on the skin modifier. Right click, click on copy. And that is to copy this bone structure here and all of the vertex groups with the weights. That's what the skin modifier is for. The reason I'm doing that is because I'm going to actually edit some of this mesh and doing that destroys this modifier. So we don't want to have to rebuild it. When that pop up you can click on yes or yes hold. You do a yes hold if you're just going to add more modifiers in here that would normally destroy this. Um, <coughs> but what I'm going to do is use the freeform tool to do something to his face. So I have to actually ch convert him to editable poly, which destroys that skin modifier. So let's just but it, oh, it's Just do a little bit. What I'm doing here is shrinking down the 
the mesh a little bit to uh, make him look thinner on his face um, in which I'll add some w in Blender I'm gonna add wounds and then I'll use Photoshop to create a normal map to add textured skin and everything um, but, but I find that using this this free f these freeform tools are more intuitive in 3ds max than they are in um in blender so for editing the actual mesh not not doing sculpting but the existing vertices and um polys whatever on the on the mesh you're working with i find it extremely easy to do with 3ds max okay so i'm done here so now i convert back to mesh as you can see my skin modifier is gone now but it's okay because we've already copied it so just right click on that and click paste you could do paste, paste instance, same thing. I'm not sure what the difference is. I just clicked the first one the cursor landed on. And now we have our skin modifier. Now we can unhide this. And right, now we can export our mesh, our modified mesh. You can export it before without touching it. Doesn't matter. Um, export and then you give it a name whatever I've already done this portion well okay so let's just see Vega or whatever yeah Vig zombie um, I'm gonna show you the settings so these should already be checked off this will be the default settings for F the FBX exporter for 3ds max but you should make sure that these are the only things that are checked in the geometry animation unchecked cameras unchecked lights doesn't matter embedded media unchecked Lights doesn't matter because you don't have a scene here and neither, I, and neither do these really because there's no scene when you import into a, a, a clean workspace so there's not going to be animation and cameras regardless um, now advanced options is where you have your units I export in inches some people prefer centimeters it doesn't seem to make a difference so I just leave it there in inches um, this is what's important the type has to be binary and the version if you're gonna work with blender has to be FBX 2014 2015 if you're exp if you're gonna do all of your work with 3ds max then to export it to FBX to put into Unreal Engine it doesn't matter whether it's 2014, 2015 or 2016 this doesn't matter I, I would probably go with 2016 just because it might look a little better maybe I'm not sure but for Blender it definitely has to be this alright so we go ahead and do that and as it is done we're done with this I don't need to save that. So now we're going to go ahead and open up Blender. And this is him. I've already removed all of his clothing, but let's go ahead and um, start anew. Okay, so let's get rid of this. We're going to do File import FBX now this is the original one that I exported which I named zombie bison and this is the mesh that I'll be working on okay now it's <coughs> hopefully this has been helpful for you guys um, I'm going to go a little bit further in this one and show you also how to remove items well 
actually I think I'll just do a second tutorial really quick on that so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see and see you on the next one where I'm going to show you how to select and remove items from a mesh and blender enjoy the rest of your day